viewers to the eighth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 2, which is chemistry. So in the previous episode, you covered this section A through question e, B3. If you haven't seen those episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button so that each time I get to upload a new video, you get the notification. And if you find this video to be helpful, please consider liking question B form and figure 4.1 shows an electronic structure for element Q. Loma numero 1, name element Q. So how can we identify element Q? So element Q has this electronic configuration. So it has it 2 in the first shell, then it has 8 in the second shell, then it has this 7 in the third shell. So this element has this structure, so it has 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 7, so this has the proton number of 17. So we need to go to the periodic table and look for this element. There can only be element with this atomic number, proton number with 17, and should be in periodic group 7. So we need to go to 7 which should be halogens. So if you move down, you discover that this is the element which should be chlorine. So this is chlorine. So this is how you identify this element. Start with the electronic configuration structure. So this is how it is. Then we know that the atomic number is 7 or the number of protons in this element. Number number two state the period of the periodic table where element Q belongs. Explain your answer. So we notice that this one has three shells. So because it has three shells, it should be long to period three. So it is period three. Then we need to provide explanation. The explanation is that the period number of an element signifies the highest energy level an electron in that element occupies, which is in, in the unexcited state. The number of period to which an element belongs is equal to the number of energy levels or shells in an atom of an element. So that's the principle that you need to understand. So therefore, chlorine should be in the third period as it has in three energy levels of shells. So the answer is this is because element Q, which is chlorine in this case, has three energy levels or shells of electrons. That's the explanation. Once you do this, you are good to go. Loma numero 3 of A explain how an atom of element Q acquires chemical stability. So if you look at this element, it has these seven electrons in its outermost shell. So to complete the outer shell, it will need to gain one electron or share with another element which will share another one so that it, you have one shared electron. So in this case, gaining is through ionic bonding, then sharing is through covalent bonding. So by achieving A full, full outer electron shell through the process of electron gain, which is ionic bonding brackets or sharing which is in, in this case covalent bonding bond like that once you do that you are good to go 
Bing, explain what you understand by the term nucleon number. So what is a nucleon number? So the term nucleon number is also known as the mass number, which refers to the total number of protons and neutrons in an atomic nucleus. So this refers to the total number of electrons let me just demarcate here so electrons and neutrons neutrons in an atomic nucleus so it is also known this is just an extension but you can end there as the mass number so once you do that you're good to go and you get these five marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question b five